I'm also in a good space in my life. Uh, I'm celebrating my two year wedding anniversary. Two year wedding anniversary. That's right. I married my emergency contact. It was time, fellas. You get to a certain age, you gotta upgrade your emergency contact. My mama go to bed too early. <laughs> my mama lay down, the sun's still out. Like, mama, why you going to bed? You boy, you better call me tomorrow. Bye, you better pray about it. Get off my phone, bye. You know I gotta work in the morning. Like, mama, the sun is still out, I don't care. And uh, shout out to the single people. If you're single, make some noise. Single people. Cool, two, just two of y'all, loud and lonely. I don't want to be broke and lonely, jeez. It's been a good time, you better pick one. Outside, outside too expensive to be single. <laughs> a family size box of Captain Crunch in LA is almost $10. You trying to do that and rent? You better pick one, don't do both of them. <laughs> nah, but I feel like when you get married, nobody tell you nothing too, because this thing, single people never get jealous of married people. Because married people, they fake like they happy. Like you ever ask a married person what it's like being married? It started being an explanation. And then it turned into a cry for help real fast. It get real awkward real fast. I asked this guy, I was like, yo, what is it like being married? He was like, woo, hey, <laughs> take your time, okay? <laughs> woo, you better have all the fun you can, okay? You, you better wait on God, don't do it like I did, okay? <laughs> Marriage is work, I'm like, ooh. Cause my question is, I need to know if it's office work or construction work. <laughs> I'm not putting on a tool belt to go home. And this is the funny part. I was like, yo, do you, I said, uh, and you can always tell if somebody happily married, all you gotta do is ask the guy how long he been married. Cause he gonna give you a sound and then the answer. The sound tell you everything you need to know about his marriage. <laughs> I was like, hey man, how long you been married? He was like, ah, woo, um, bruh, ah, uh, <laughs> about six months. I'm like, whoa, you can't, ah, six months, that was June, ah. That's why it's important to marry somebody you like. If you like somebody, you can get through the tough times. Love is mandatory, but you don't have to like them. If you like them, you can get through the tough times. That's why you gotta marry somebody you like, because everybody don't do that. Like, this is how you can tell you married somebody jacked up or you dating somebody jacked up. When you gotta explain crazy to your family. <laughs> like when, you ever see that person, they gotta explain like, hey, look, um, well, when I met her, I don't know, uh, she had eyebrows when I met her. I don't know what's going on. And, <laughs> She had teeth too. I don't know when she started doing this. I, now she's trying to lick her elbow. This is awkward. Um, now she's crying. I think she's never seen parents before. Um, mama, she got a good heart. She don't usually do this, babe. Please get off the ground. Please, babe. Please get, babe, get up. My mama looking. Get up. Get, please get up. Okay, mama, I'm sorry. Put my blade in the microwave. Please get up, please. You gotta find somebody you like. Cause I asked the guy, I was like, yo, do you like your wife? He was like, look, I love my kids, okay? I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, my, without my kids, I am nothing. Go down with your little show. I was like, touche, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna mind my business. And my wife is dope, because this is the funny part. I feel like men, we say we want a good woman, but you don't want a good woman, fellas. You say you want a good woman, but you don't want a good woman. Because good women make you the best version of yourself every day of your life. And they don't need your permission to make you better. <laughs> and they will, they will critique you and nag you to success. Yes, they will. They, my wife be like, look, that shirt trash, go cut your hair and brush your tongue. Start over, I don't know what you're doing right now. <laughs> and put some oil on your beard so your beard connect. We don't connect because your beard don't connect. <laughs> put some lotion on your elbow. Close her hand and walk off. Have a blessed day. You're like, what? <laughs> the level of disrespect. I just wanted some cereal. How we get here? <laughs> Fellas, these women will ruin your self-esteem with a sound, you hear me? <laughs> I'm getting ready for date night, I'm dressed up, ready to go. My wife put me up and down like, mm. like don't do that, don't mm me. <laughs> I didn't say nothing, but if that's what you wanna wear, I mean, you can do it. I wouldn't suggest it, but if that's what you wanna wear, mm. like don't do that, mm. And fellas, the more she love you, the more disrespectful she is. Oh my goodness, the more disrespectful, because fellas, I don't know if you noticed or not, but if you, you were a good woman, they think you are the dumbest person on the planet. <laughs> Every woman here right now with her man, she, think, she really thinks that you are the dumbest person on the planet. <laughs> Let me tell you how I figured it out. Fellas, next time you argue with your lady, ask her to repeat what you just said. <laughs> think about the voice she uses <laughs> when she play back what you just said. Eh, I'm Ron G, eh? <laughs> 
Don't put no dairy in mine, cause I get real gassy. My stomach sound like an empty ketchup bottle. Eh. Don't put no spice on mine, my nose start to run. I can't take it. Eh. Eh. My beard's starting to connect, now my wife is starting to respect me. Eh. My baby, I don't sound like that. Eh, I don't sound like that. Stop making a joke out of me. Maybe disrespectful, fellas. <laughs> And then when you get married, everybody rushing you to have kids, your family, when y'all having babies, like, ma'am, I am still at my reception. Can I enjoy my wife? I've been married for seven minutes. Can I enjoy my wife? But when y'all having babies, ma'am, I am cutting the cake at my reception. Can I please enjoy my wife? <laughs> I'm ready to have kids. It's about that time. I'm an active shooter. Listen. <laughs> But, it, <laughs> but I don't want to wait too late in life to have kids. I don't want my kids to wind up being old people, baby. Anybody know what that is? You ever meet somebody way too late in life to have kids, and the kids come out grown? You ever meet a grown baby? They don't smell like regular kids. Like, regular kids got sweet baby neck. You ever hold a little baby, and you sweet baby neck? You like, oh, took a, took a, uh. <laughs> old people, baby, they smell grown. They come out stressed out. They got sweat on their lip like they did a line of cocaine and worked a double at the Waffle House. <laughs> they first words be, uh, uh, like, uh, uh. <laughs> they come out with a cigarette, like, all right, nurse, somebody go lay down in this incubator. <laughs> if you can, can you bring me back some milk and some matches from the store? Huh? Y'all got me stressed out in here. Tell this doctor to get this cut off of me. Hey, nurse! Nurse! <laughs> nurse, get this off of me! <laughs> hey, mom, get the doctor! Nurse! <laughs> nurse, get this doctor! Hey, bring me back some milk and NURSE! <laughs> Baby stressed out. NURSE! <laughs> My best friend's what I call old people baby. Like when I was a kid, I did kid stuff. I used to play with Play-Doh. I had a big wheel, I had a skateboard. My best friend was the same age. He was eight. He used to come to the door with a house roll on and a cup of coffee like, child, I want to come outside, but... My ankle swole, I don't know what's going on with me. I think I got a little fluid on my knee too. I don't know what's going on with me. I was gonna go outside and play on the monkey bars earlier, but I smelled rain. Uh, every time I smell rain, my bones be aching, so I laid down. Um, I took some fish out to make, I was gonna make some chicken, but I had my mouth all set for some fish. I'm like, you eight years old and had your mouth set? Yeah, child. Anyway, I was watching my stories earlier. I was watching The Young and the Restless. You know Victor Newman always getting into something. Anyway, I'm about to go in my room and iron my clothes for the week and get situated. Situated? You eight years old. Anyway, take care, beloved. Have a good one. Tell your mama I said hello, okay? I'll see her Tuesday at Bingo and tell her to bring back my Tupperware. She thinks she's slick. I'm like, beloved, we eight. We, we the same age. Some of y'all not laughing because you got old parents. You can't really appreciate this joke. <laughs> this is how you can tell your parents' age. You can tell if you had old parents or not by your field trip food as a kid. Remember you were on a field trip and your, par your parents pack you a lunch? I had young parents, so I had fun food like turkey, cheese, peanut butter and jelly. My parents liked me. I had Capri Suns, fruit roll-ups, Gushers. Anybody know what Gushers are? About 70 of y'all. Some of y'all in this area right here. Probably old people, baby. Y'all like my best friend. He was on a field trip. He had yams, greens, and a Cornish hen. What you doing with a Cornish hen? on a field trip to the zoo. There's never a reason to bring a whole hen to the zoo. Them gorillas will kill you. They got the whole bus smelling like a civil rights pep rally. If you don't close this container, smell like the fellowship hall at the church. Smell like a... <laughs> smell like the fundraiser place. Remember the mothers of the church made the fundraiser plates? Bus smell grown. Smell like Thanksgiving in the back of the bus. If you don't close that container, <laughs> he in the back of the bus mad. Nobody want to trade him food. <laughs> he like, uh, uh... Anybody want some oxtails? I'll trade y'all some oxtails for some Oreos. Anybody want some oxtails? I got some casserole. Anybody want some casserole for some cookies? Like, nobody bring casserole on a field trip. And anybody, anybody want some gizzards? I'll bring some gizzards. Anybody want some gizzards for some grapes? Anybody want some gizzards? I got some Salisbury steak. Anybody want some Salisbury steak for some fruit snacks? Anybody want some... Salisbury steak. Anybody want some okra? I got some okra. I'm like, why are you bringing okra on a field trip? Nobody under the age of 40 eat okra on a field trip. <laughs> he even had an old people baby Christmas list. When I was a kid, I wanted a skateboard, I wanted a fire truck, and a Ninja Turtle. 
My best friend was the same age. He was like, hey, Mima, can you get me a sweater vest, <laughs> uh, a crock pot, and two tickets to the jazz festival? Me and my girlfriend, Shirley, want to go down to the jazz festival. We want to see Boney James. I'm like, you got a girlfriend named Shirley already? You eight years old? He had a Costco card. How you eight with a Costco card? <laughs> Hey, any of y'all, uh, uh, if any of y'all young ladies need some baby wipes or some snacks, I got you, uh, uh. That is a great joke, this is going on TV and y'all laughing at me like I'm not hilarious, whatever. <laughs> I appreciate these chuckles over here, y'all just giggling, y'all make <laughs> That's that single girl laughing. <laughs> all the married women, y'all like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> You laugh different when you're responsible for somebody. You just glad to be out there. 